Heroes and villains, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well, and today is the day where it all begins again. That is right, we have update 0 0.6.25, and we have this big reset ahead of us, and I can't wait to get into it. There are going to be timestamps down in the description. You can tab wherever you want to go in the timeline of the video. Go check it out, but first, first things first, guys, I'm going to go straight over to recruit, I'm going over to the premium capsule and I'm opening 10 straight off the bat. We'll be doing this again. Again, it will be in the timestamp, so go click if you want to see just the pools. But we're going to go over for everything in this update. And without further ado, let's open 10 of these capsules and see if we get a 5 star because I don't have a 5 star yet. And it'll be good to start the video off with a 5 star pull. Let's open it. Here we go. Goes into the chest. I don't know if that animation is telling us that we've got a 5 star, but we'll soon find out. We've got a 4 star blue beetle, which is nice. GCPD. Stargirl, 3 star. Crazed inmate, that is a dupe, so I'll get the shards. Enchantress, that's a dupe. I'm actually using Enchantress at the moment, so I'll take the shard quite nicely. Same with Robin, that is nice. Gorilla Grodd, great tank to have on the villain side, 3 star there. Nubia. I've already got Nubia, so that's a dupe there. And, oh, this looks like it's going to be four star. It, it baited me there, and I thought, oh, they've got a bit of an animation here, but it's Killer Croc and another crazed inmate. So they are the pools that I'm starting off with the video. Still no five star. We'll see at the end of the video if I can get another. I'll probably do two more um, because I don't want to spend all my gems. We're going to go into the gems as well because of the, the compensation. I'll be interested and uh, eager to know what you guys got who have been playing soft launch and this is a perfect time to get into the game soft launch so if it's in your region philippines denmark and belgium go give it a download a perfect place to kind of start because we're all starting from the beginning here so we're back here at the menu and we do have an achievement here on the profile i believe i've unlocked obviously the pro uh, the profile portraits of all the characters I've just unlocked, but I'm going to keep Deadshot for now. Um, I'll go over my team uh, later in the video. Where is Deadshot? Deadshot? I cannot see you. He's there. Okay. And the title I unlocked was of the Teen Titans. Okay. I'll keep of the Suicide Squad at the moment because I am rocking a Suicide Squad based team. So here we are back in the menu. So we're going to go over everything in the game and see what it has to offer with this new update. Again, timestamps are down below. I'm going to be very excited and very intrigued as I go through this because I've not completely checked everything out. So I think before we have a look at this, obviously this is what you're going to be greeted with after you've done the tutorial, the living world screen. Um, we're going to go over to the new shop tab. So, the item shop has completely changed. We have just like the daily shop that changes daily. We have the guild shop, which you obviously spend with your guild coins. Uh, you can see the shops are going to look very different as we can't purchase shards anymore, but you'll see a few exceptions along the way. We have the assault shop. This is related to PvP. We'll be definitely getting into that. Um, just have a bit of a browse there. And an upgrade shop, which is when you have... When you have got a dupe for a character, you get a shard that can unlock their passive. Once you've unlocked all their passives, pending on their rarity, you'll either get like a, um, this one, a character credit uh, for the standard ones. And I think for the five stars, you'll get an elite character credit of which then you can trade in here. Um, I don't know how many you get. I don't know if it's just one, if it is just one. 150 of those just for one Harley Quinn shard. So, We'll know about that once we start unlocking those characters and getting dupes. But that is the shop there. Let's have a look at the new and improved roster screen. It looks quite the same as it did before, but you'll notice that the four stars have like a silver banner around it with these little wings you can see with Deadshot and Big Barda I've got here. And as we go over to the ones that I've not unlocked, like the five stars, um, the best way to see this actually is if we go, let's say go, go on to Batman and we go over to the Synergy. And his character, his group synergy, you can see there. That's what the gold um, framing looks like for the five star characters. So, yeah, characters are now star rated, and you'll get them straight off the bat, whatever you pull, like I just uh, demonstrated. Uh, again, this is going to be hit and miss for a lot of people. I'm enjoying it because I get to have that excitement that I did have at the beginning of the video, and we're going to have again at the end of the video. And the shards going into passive skills, you can't really complain. 
Um, again, it will definitely shake the meta up, especially early game, because everyone's going to have different teams. Um, I've already got people in the guild and on the Discord that have got completely different characters to me, and they're going to be building their roster around their best characters. So if they fall to five star, they're going to build around that five star. At the moment, I've got Deadshot, so I have been building like a Suicide Squad team because I've got Amanda Waller and Enchantress. So it's kind of my ideal team at the moment, especially when I'm going through the hero missions, is Deadshot, Amanda Waller, Enchantress, uh, Robin, and Catwoman, just because it's a, just a good team I've got going off there. Uh, not much else to say about the roster screen. There's no new characters that have been introduced in this patch. Um, all the characters here you can see with my previous videos. Not much has changed, but there is a little bit of a change. If you look, I think in one of my videos back in the early days, I was like, oh, I think we're going to get different versions of characters. I think we're going to get different versions because their name is um, below their hero name or villain name. Lo and behold, Ludia must have watched that video and thought, Jen, 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 can't get onto us that easy because we're just going to put all their names below the character unless they don't have a real name. So Two-Face, it says Harvey Dent underneath. Um, uh, we can see that with the, not with the goon, but Deadshot, you've got Floyd Lloyd, uh, Lawton, um, Enchantress, June more sorry my sight is well off because that light is rather bright today um so i might read things wrong victor stone with cyborg uh, livewire leslie willis so they have definitely threw a cur curveball at me now it's going to be un unpredictable if we're going to get different versions of characters but that's about everything on the roster screen let's go to the living world this is what we're greeted with obviously you can see i'm slowly progressing through the story steadily level 14 it's nice to kind of start again, actually. It's a bit of a refresh. It's kind of got me buzzing a little bit again, trying to get um, as far as I can. And we can see that we have the events here. This is where all the events are going to be, the same place. You've got the quests. These have now changed because we don't get character shards. You can see that we get um, capsule pieces so we can start doing the pools, which is nice. Um, we've got the daily offers. So you can see here. Um, you'll have a free offer, a paid offer, uh, gems, or obviously gems, and then you've got your featured offer, uh, whatever they are promoting uh, during that time. And then we have the recruit screen, which I briefly went on. You can see at the moment, this is where we're going to have all our different banners as the game uh, goes towards and past worldwide launch. I assume that these are going to change, but for the moment, let's just see what we've got here. We've got basic capsule, um, 50 each or 500 to open 10. I've noticed that this is a common se uh, theme, the same with the um, the uh, the premium capsule. It's uh, exact, so you have 100, to, 100 gems to open one and you'll open a thousand, or if you've got the pieces, you'll use the pieces. I really think that they should either have like a, a times 10 bonus that's a little bit cheaper for the gems. So instead of it being actually 10 times the gems, maybe it costs 900 gems to get ten, a temple, just to get more people on the boat of uh, getting them temples. Um, or even have a bonus one. So it's, a lot of gacha games will have open 10 times 10, and then you'll get an additional one at the end. So you get 11 pool for the price of a 10. I hope they do something like that. Um, you can see here, premium capsule, there are no limits here. All the characters are there, uh, ready to be pulled. So please let me know in the comment section below if you've got someone uh, that you are really happy with. Uh, I've not got a five star yet. I've seen a lot of people, I've seen the Superman, I've seen Vandal Savage, I've seen Penguin, and uh, I've seen Lex. I've not, I've not had any myself. Hopefully we can end that this video and that will all be changed. So guaranteed five star character within the next 55. Oh, so there's a pity system as well. So if you keep opening and have a bad look, eventually you are going to get a five star. So there's a pity system in place. Obviously, the hero capsules and the villain, villain capsules are here. I don't know why the hero capsule has a timer. Maybe it's because of the certain rate ups. So if you open a hero capsule, obviously there's increased rates on March and Manhunter, Blue Beetle, and Donna Troy. And that should reflect here. Look, you can see here so you have 
increased rates, which is nice. I'm sure they're going to shuffle those around based on whatever the meta is and whatever data they collect. So there you go. That is your new gacha and something that we are going to become very familiar with on the channel because I will be doing those pulls. I will be spending my gems, my well-earned currency that I earn in game. And I will, like, for example, we're going to just open one here. Uh, no, I can't open a hero capsule. But I can open a villain one, so if we get a 5 star leg straight off the bat, this is just a one pull, this is just an example for the video, we're putting it in the capsule, looking at that animation, it wasn't great, uh, I definitely got shafted uh, with that pull, <laughs> but I was demonstrating it for the purposes of the video. Anyway, that's your gacha page, and then of course uh, you've got very familiar what we've had before, you unlock the sections as you progress your, your levels. Um, I don't know if the cap's still at 50 or if they've increased it for this update. I'll keep you posted on that one. Um, oh, I've also got a quest here because I've opened some capsules, which is nice. Um, I've already unlocked Metropolis. We'll do some battle. I'll probably do a hero battle in Metropolis right now before we go over to guilds and PvP. So if you want to skip ahead to that or if you want to stay to see how battles have improved, you'll see. Uh, in a nutshell, very smooth, uh, very fast. Uh, very responsive and a lot more impact if that makes any sense where are you ted with how much he talked to my ear off you think i'd be glad comms are down you're searching for something i can tell mm, hello to you too i'm looking for ted cork cord i'm sorry the light is obscuring my vision have you seen him he fly i'm using it as an excuse i know he flies around in big blue Bug ship thing, kind of hard to miss. Nope, I think you're searching for something inside yourself. Hold that thought. And then we go straight into it. So obviously Halo is going to be our guest character. I'm going to take Deadshot, Mandawala, and Enchantress because they are all members of the Suicide Squad. So having those, um, we can block buffs on two random targets for three turns. Uh, so they will not be getting any buffs in the battle, which will be definitely helpful. And I think we've got two red, purple, green. Let's throw a big barter in there just to kind of round things off. Uh, let's throw all the battle items in there just in case. You never know. Um, I guess I could quickly touch on compensation. Uh, I got just under 10k gems for my thing. I'm interested to see what you guys uh, that have played Soft Launch got also. Um, they based it on how much time you put into the game, if you spent any money. Uh, the monetization so everyone's going to differ i'm pretty happy with what i've got because i could just go for my all oh, i could go for 100 temple uh, 10 temples which is 100 characters straight off the bat but i'm going to just buy my gems i'm just going to keep them there for when i need them making these videos so let's get this on the road let's go and defeat it these as quick as possible obviously battle system you'll just notice that it's a lot more snappier a lot more smoother um, I've had no game crashes at all at the moment uh, touch wood <laughs> um, which has been nice and overall the loading has just been silky smooth uh, really good look at that we've, we've, we've got some good going off I'm going to go for a headshot combo just on that character at the back you've gone and then we're going to just go for a direct order everyone's damage and defense will increase at the cost of some HP it's so good to kind of start again and have random characters and not have the same characters as other players because I'm building a team that I feel works for me and everyone else is going to be the same and that's going to be excellent and when it comes to PvP definitely is going to have some kind of effect. So there we go, we'll finish off that and we'll throw Big Barda just over there. And then we'll just do a match there. Oh no, completely missed. I should just be able to finish off this pretty quickly with just a random match. Everyone's shielded. I'm not worried about anyone dying on me. I'm hoping to get a three star rating. And there we go. Victory. And it's been great because each mission has rewarded 100 gems. Right? Let that sink in. Each mission I've done so far is awarded 100 gems. 10 missions, you've got a selfie temple. That's very generous. That's very generous. Hey, good looking out. 
We're fortunate that we can defend ourselves. Most people in the city cannot. Do you know what happened? Where's Superman? I don't know, but I intend to find out. There are many innocent people who need our protection. I understand, but I need to find my friend. Perhaps we can do both together. I'm kind of new here, so I can use all the help I can get. And there we go. The story will continue. And you know what? For the sake of, because I'm not going to be doing anything else in this video, I'll just quickly do a auto win just to get some XP. And obviously, each sector has a story. So when you start off, the, this will introduce, like, M Metropolis, what we're doing. Um, when we go over to the next business trick, trick, once we hit level 16, we can check out that sector story. Really smooth at gameplay experience. Really impressed with what I'm seeing. And I'm not just flaunting. I'm not just um, kind of beating the drum. But my experience so far, like even before this update, it's been pretty positive. I've enjoyed the game. I'm very... Uh, I'm in. I'm all in, I guess you could say. Because I'm making content. I've been making content since the beginning of the game. And um, yeah, I'm all in. I'm here. So, let's go over to Guilds. Guilds is pretty much the same. Shout out to everyone that's joined so far. Betaverse 2. I think it's fitting to just kind of... Because uh, Guilds have been reset. I thought, there we go. So, if you want to join, all you got to do is be active. Just have a crack at the uh, the Guild bosses. And we're all good. And you can see that some people here, we've got... Um, Unkind with the Lex Luthor. I'm pretty jealous. Dusty with the, the um, Poison Ivy. Pretty jealous. Superman. You know... Kudos to you guys. But here we go. Something completely new. PvP. So this is your PvP screen. You can see I've got 153 trophies. My defense team has just not been doing very well against what seems to be a bot. Remember, we're in soft launch and it has just been introduced. So there's going to be a lot of bots in the leaderboard. You can see these very creative names. We've got Hartley Bat, Elite Amazon. Old Amazon, I see Amazon. They've most definitely got like a uh, like a name generator here for everyone. Like Brisk Bot and Dim Bot. They've got like two words mishmash them together. I'm in 694th in the Rookie League, and you can see that rewards from the Rookie League here. Um, top 10%. Top, you know how PVP system works, but this is where you get some gems. This is where you get some currency to spend in the Assault Shop. And you, get, you also get to look at the other leagues. We've got the Apprentice League, the Specialist League, the Expert League, the Veteran League, the Elite League, and the Mythic League. And it looks like, you know, they, they've kind of just put like, the, I, I think all these are placeholders until they get the data that they need. So I don't think we'll pay too much attention to the awards of PvP until literally worldwide launch. Um, because then they'll have a better understanding on how the economy is and where people are at and what teams of people are taking um, so I won't pay too much attention I just get in there for fun and just kind of test out your teams and watch your defense teams just kind of like you know fail so we can go through all the leaderboards of all of the leagues so as we can see here fumbling bat hashtag 9342 is at the top of the leading boards uh, well done to you I think can we see their profile like that, can we hold on? No. I'm sure that's a feature they'll introduce. If they're, Or maybe it's just because they're a bot, they, they won't do that. So, yeah, we've done rewards, done a lot of the leaderboard, and obviously the shop will take you to the item shop. Um, let's just find an opponent, since I've got one energy, and see how we get on. So I'm going to take, obviously, my, my hero team is really helping me out at the moment. Um... We can refresh for 50 coins, which is pretty generous. I don't know if there's a cap on that. So let's say if we want to refresh um, like that. And I think that player that I just skipped over is in my guild. So um, JRO, I'm sorry. I, I, uh, I, I skipped you there. I, I swiped right. I swiped left. Um, but we'll go against the... Uh, that's quite a creative name there. Here we go. We, we might as well go against... Yeah, and look at that. That's quite a beastly team. They've got uh, both villain and um, I'm gonna have my uh, I'm gonna have my work cut out for me. Let's do it. So I'm gonna take my Suicide Squad team and the Catwoman Robin just for the synergies. Enchantress can also heal. Amanda Waller can also heal. Um, so we'll see how we get on. Let's see how we get on. Obviously, I can stop buffs 
as well, which is nice, having the Suicide Squad straight off the bat. It's definitely going to help out for any of these characters that might want to use any kind of buff. And you can see, with it being early days of PvP, I'm pretty much kind of getting through with no issues here. There is a timer, so you can't really AFK. You want to go straight for it. Um, I think I'm doing all right, actually. Let's uh, use Robin's here. And I'm also going to use Enchantress's just to kind of get a heal on everybody. Just make sure we're all full health. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's match some purples here against Croc. I should really probably get some reds on Croc. And he's gone blue, so we've got some greens on here to get rid of Savage here. We've got a good blue and purple combo there that I want to go for. If I can get through this without kind of like dying, I'm, I'm, I'll be happy with that. Let's take out Lex with the combo of Amanda Waller and Deadshot, because Amanda Waller also heals Deadshot when you use their synergy together. I've already been working out all these little like nuts and crannies with the teams that I, with the players that I've got. So that's really, really nice to kind of go on with. And then we are just going to finish off Vandal Savage here. Oh, he's not taking any that. Has he got like a, a buff on at the moment? I don't know. There we go. He's gone. And there we go. Hero victory. And we get some trophies. Uh, get some things and we increase our rank and everybody's happy and also we get a nice little life giant achievement there with some more gems and i think we are going to wrap up the video on doing two two premium pools again i don't want to spend too many gems because i'm happy with the team i've got um as time will go on i'll do pools for content of course and i'll do pools when i want the character when i want a character if superman has increased rates i'm going to go after that superman um, or for the time being I could try and get lucky so let's go over to the recruitment and let's do some premium pools um, I would love to see what the five star animation is so we know straight off the like when we when we get into this but let's tap into it let's pull in that coin there and it's, it seems to be purple this seems to be just be we're gonna get a four star by the looks of this one so another star girl a goon enchantress I'll take it GCPD this is gonna be a four star Four star Firefly, another four star in Katana, which is nice. I'll take that. And another Enchantress, and another four star in. Yes, I got my boy Nightwing. Yes, I've got him. He's welcome back to the team, my boy. Let's open another 10. Let's see what we get. Let's see if we get like an animation for a five star. It's got to be like gold or something. It's purple again, so we're definitely getting another four star uh, GCPD. Here's our first four star Firefly again. Goon, Amanda Waller. I'm happy with these pools because it's just investing in what I've got. Enchantress again. Uh, yeah. Dr. Poison, new character. Amanda Waller again. So, ooh, that isn't the best of pools. But I'll take it. I've got two Fireflies there. So I might have to look at Firefly. See, this is what I like about the gadgets because it's like, you know what? I've got some good investments in characters that I might not have used. Let's have a look at them and see how they kind of synergize with the characters I've got and we'll go from there so there we go guys i'm gonna have a look at those characters and see what i can do with what characters uh, in what situation and enjoy my time you'll see another video from me maybe it'll just be another pool video because i've uh, gathered a few more gems uh, but i don't want to spend recklessly at the moment because i'm just trying to bite our feet we're all starting from zero and trying to find our way and that's what i'm doing and i'm thoroughly enjoying it again if you have the opportunity to download the soft launch, um, go for it. Philippines, Denmark, Belgium in your iOS app store or your Google Play store. If you're in the game, join the guild Betaverse 2. That's two in Roman numerals, two eyes, And heroes and villains, I'll see you there. It's been very exciting. Let me know what you think of this update. Have you been playing it? Have you left the game? Not looked back since? Come back, have a look, check it out, see if you like it. And if you're excited for the worldwide launch, this is the best place to be because we're going to be covering everything and anything in between. Thank you very, very much for watching. Hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more DC Heroes and Villains content. And until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.